Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. In a previous video, I showed sales of my recent game just one week after release. Basically, it had made $13,000 in gross revenue and sold about a thousand copies. Now, for some of you, depending on how long you've been learning about Steam and indie games in general, if you just started out, then looking at this might seem like a really low result. Especially if you're someone from the US and you're used to people talking about their tax salaries in the high six figures. If so, then compared to that, yep, this amount does seem extremely low. It might seem like this game is a flop, However, looking at the actual numbers, at the actual statistics, the game is actually doing quite well. Now, based on first week sales, we can actually do a guesstimate and figure out how much the game might sell in the first year. That ratio is usually anywhere between 2 and 6. Now, for me, I'm planning to continue working on the game and continuing to talk about it, make various tutorials about it. So in my case, I can probably guesstimate that the ratio for this game will probably be around the 5 mark. So that means I can probably expect it to sell about 50,000 in gross revenue in the first year. And according to the graph over here on VG Insights, by the way, this is an excellent website if you want to see all kinds of stats related to Steam and indie games. So over here, we can see the revenue distribution. And if the game does hit 50K on the first year, then that would put it up here, which is right on the top 15% of Steam games. So over here, you can see just how tough this business is. You can see how most games don't even make 5K. Steam is constantly hitting new records. It is absolutely massive. And with all these users, it makes a massive amount of money, literally billions of dollars every single year. But in terms of developers, it's all heavily skewed towards the top. Basically, most of the money goes to just this top 3%. Which in reality, that still actually means quite a lot of games are finding success. We can see the number of releases every single month. There are tons and tons of games coming out every single month. For example, in September, there were 1,200 games released. That is a huge amount. I believe in total that are over 50,000 Steam games. So going back to the 3%, 3% to 50,000 is actually still quite a bit. That's still about 2,000 games making millions of dollars. So that is still pretty good. But at the same time, there are still about 40,000 out of those 50,000 games that don't even make 5k. Now, my goal with this video is not to make you depressed or discourage you from following your game dev dreams. I really just want to be transparent and make sure you have enough data points if you want to decide that you would like to make this as a full-time living. Just be aware that the reality is this is a really tough business. In this channel, my goal is really to teach you game development so you can make the games that you dream of. However, there's a really big difference between making games for fun as a hobby and trying to make a living out of it. As a hobby, I really believe that anyone can learn how to make games. Personally, I'm a huge believer in education, so I believe that if you make the effort, you can learn to build pretty much any game you can imagine. For myself, I can say that I've already reached a really nice point where I can pretty much build any game idea that I can think of. So making games is a lot of fun, and I definitely encourage people to follow that passion if that is something that they desire. But when it comes to making a living out of your games, the reality is that achieving that is going to be extremely difficult. I still believe you can learn how to do it, especially if you study a lot on Steam game marketing, but at the same time, it requires so many things to go right that I definitely would not encourage you to very much just quit your day job and give all everything on the hope that your game will find success. Like I said, I'm confident that based on my own technical skills, I can pretty much build any game idea that I can think of, but I cannot really guarantee that that game idea will find financial success. Although, as you look at this graph as to how much money each game makes, Looking at this, whether making a living sounds impossible or just somewhat difficult, that is really up to you. What I mean by that is how it's very much dependent on how much money you actually spend. I believe that is really the main thing that defines just how easy or hard it is to actually make a living from your games. This is also something that I've talked about quite a bit in the past. I made a really nice video talking about my story and how to survive as a game dev for over a decade. When it comes to making games cheaply, I believe that is sort of my unintentional superpower. I live in a low cost of living country and when I started making a living from my games, I was making sure to spend as little as possible. And over here, I can actually survive on just about 750 bucks a month. So even though this chart doesn't look pretty bad, it looks pretty depressing. Even with that, if I'm capable of making a game in just six months and my costs are just 700 bucks a month, then in theory, I can still make a living on this bottom part. With such a low monthly cost and if I do everything myself, then I can pretty much turn a profit with under 5k. However, on the other hand, if I was living somewhere like San Francisco and I needed 5k a month just to barely scrape by, if so, then even if I made a game super quickly in just 6 months, that would still require at least 30 grand just to make a tiny profit. So in general, I highly encourage you to make games for fun. Making games, building systems, building game design with all kinds of rules that you define yourself, that is really fun. Personally, I really enjoy it. But my advice is also be very aware that in terms of business, this is an extremely tough business. So just be aware of all of these numbers and how difficult it is before you make the leap and try to make it your day-to-day -day living. Anyway, so this was a bit of a random video just because I had the sudden thought to think of where does my game stack up in the entirety of Steam. It's obviously not a mega hit like the recently released and very excellent Thronefall. This is a top 0.1% indie game. But based on my own goals, my game is actually doing quite well. 
So if you like automation, colony building, and defense games, then go ahead and check out Think Guardians on Steam, and I really hope you'll like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.